Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good morning. Hi, everyone. Um, it's good to see so many people here. Um, this is a great event, um, and it's an absolute privilege to be here um, standing in front of you speaking. Um, just to tell you a little bit more about why I think this is such a great event. Um, when I was really young, um, I lived in, so I was born in Hackney, um, grew up in Islington. Um, so not too far away from here, just around the corner. Um, and growing up, um, living in this community, I never really saw the difference between the different faiths. So in my head, I grew up um, in a household that wasn't Islamic. Um, I grew up with a non-religious mother, um, didn't know my father. Um, my nan was a Christian, um, so as far as I knew, my choice was either to be a Christian or not a Christian. <laughs> um, I never really knew about Islam, Sikhism, Judaism, Buddhism, or any of the other religions, faiths, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I just kind of saw everyone as people. Um, really weird, really weird concept, but I didn't really see into their faiths. And this kind of changed late on in my life. So I remember I was playing for England under 21s. Um, we were over in Malaysia, um, over in Kuala Lumpur. And we had a fitness session in Kuala Lumpur Park. And we're doing our fitness session, we're running around, and suddenly I hear this noise. And I stop dead. And everyone else is running on, and they're continuing. And I just stopped, and I listened. And it was beautiful. And I didn't know what it was, I didn't know where it was coming from, but I knew it was beautiful. Um, and when it finished, I kind of came back to life, and. Um, I continued running and I kind of caught up with my team and they were asking me where I was and I said, did you not hear that noise? It was great. Um, anyway, the next day I went back to where I kind of figured the noise was coming from, this beautiful building. So I walked around the, the outside and I was admiring the beautiful architecture, um, but I didn't go inside. Um, anyway, a couple of years later, I had my first chance to go inside a mosque um, and it was actually up at Whiteman Road, up in Wood Green. Um, beautiful little mosque, great little community. Um, again, I wasn't a Muslim yet. Um, so I went inside and I just wanted to kind of speak to the Imam about Islam. I was at a time where I was reading a lot about Islam. I just wanted to kind of understand what Islam was. I wanted to go and I wanted to speak to these people. Um, so I went inside and I, I asked to speak to the Imam and they said, well, we're just about to pray. Can you, um, can you go to the back and once we finish praying, the Imam will come and he'll, he'll share some time with you. So I said, fine. I sat at the back, and the imam stood at the front, and everyone else lined up behind him. And he read the most beautiful prayer. He read Surah Al-Fatiha. And it was with such beautiful tajweed, and it was so soothing to my soul, and I literally felt my heart flip. And this program isn't about inviting people into the mosques to convert them. I converted very shortly after that, but this isn't about that. This is about inviting people into the community, showing them the passion that actually goes on inside of these places. It's about taking people and saying, do you know what? We're not all out there trying to convert you. We're, we're out here actually trying to show you what Islam means to us, what this month means to us. And when you take the two events, so you've got, um, you've got the Olympic Games, this huge event that everyone in the country, everyone in the world is going to be focused on. And then you've also got this other huge event, um, this Ramadan that all of these Muslims are going to be focused on. Um, I think the parallels between them are so great, it's just that we don't really take the time to think about it. Um, as we've heard, the values of friendship, respect and excellence are fundamental to the Olympic Games. But think about it, they are fundamental to us as Muslims, especially in the month of Ramadan. Friendship in the, in, in the Olympic Games, we all have to come together and act as friends. We have to make sure that we're there with each other. The spectators, the media, the whole community, we're there not just kind of um, because we have to be. We actually um, create some bonds between us. You see in the stadiums different kind of countries and the, spe and the spectators and supporters side by side. It's not like in a football game where they're segregated. They're side by side. So the friendship that goes on there, the, the enthusiasm, the passion for sport is so great. But also within the mosques, within the Islamic community, the Muslim community, 
the friendship that goes on, you, you see some beautiful things. Doesn't matter how rich, how poor, it doesn't matter what country you come from, it doesn't matter how much money you have, the, the education you have, none of that matters. We all stand side by side and we pray the same prayer, we eat the same food, we, we do everything together as one community. Respect in that, as I've mentioned, we, everyone stands side by side. We, we make sure that if I have too much food and you have no food, I will give you my food. Um, whatever it takes for us to be respectful of each other, during the month of Ramadan, we will do everything we can. And in terms of excellence, this is where both really come to light. And this is where both events really shine. Because in terms of the sporting event, we all know everyone's out there to get gold medals. That's great because it's a great colour, it's around your neck and you feel really good. You've achieved your life dream. Um, everyone at the Olympic Games, whether you are striving for gold medals or out there just to represent your country, which is a huge, huge thing, um, everyone's striving to be the best that they can be. And if you think about Islam, if you think about um, during the month of Ramadan, we are all out there at this special time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is out there watching us and um, escalating what we do. We are all striving to be the best that we can be in every single situation. From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, every interaction we, every interaction we have with people is the best that we can have it. So inviting people into our mosques, inviting people into our communities to, to show them that we share the same values. To show them that during this time where you're all out there and you're all cheering for your, your favourite athletes, we are doing the same thing, making sure that we can, we can um, show people our true heroes, Prophet Muhammad wasalam, and all of the kind of Sahaba and the, the pious people that have come before us. We have this, this great passion, this great team that we're trying to promote as well. Um, but inshallah we'll also be there sharing the kind of enthusiasm and passion that athletes are going through. And I can guarantee you, if any of this does a fraction of what um, it's intended to do, um, this program, this initiative is going to be amazing. But also the month of Ramadan and the event of the Olympics is going to be so, so special. And I invite you all to get involved as much as you can because you really are going to enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you.